Well, I guess it's that point where I wrote something a couple days ago, and I thought it was done, and then I added another page, and then this morning I added another page. So I'm just going to read one tonight, if I can find it. Uh, you gotta do pipe. You gotta do pipe. Let's see here. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. I've proofread this once. Let's see how it goes. This is called Give It Back. I Want It Back. Don't Make Me Babe. Free bird. <laughs> Free bird. Populitis. Give me back my radio, you corporate whores, you open sores with thick pocketbooks and equally thick skulls, your bullshit, no content, catchy super hits by ditzes and young white children trapped in 23-year-old black males. I want those old days when radio still played those no-plot club hits, yet mixed it with fresh shit with catchy chorus and quick wit. Hip-hop's torch was still lit, wasn't dimming or planning on quitting. And whatever happened to R&B? We've been told that the R in R&B stands for R. Kelly. <laughs> but to me, R. Kelly is like the R&B version of Nelly. Retarded content. Toss it. He's trapped in the closet. Why is he trapped in the closet? I guess he's just trapped in the closet. What happened to, uh, that girl is poison? Or, this is how we do it. <laughs> Oh, damn. If you miss radio greats, don't worry. All bad stations meet their fates. Kill Power 93.9 and hope it reincarnates. That's something we don't quite hate. <laughs> Where are my good hip-hop and R&B tracks? Give it back. I want it back. Don't make me beg. Give me back my virginity, Jennifer, because you sure weren't worth it. Don't make me throw a fit. Just hand it over and we'll be even. It's what I believed in, saving myself for the one true love. I even churned down the act in a few relationships above her. But I guess when push comes to shove, in one moment, lust disguises itself as love, and with quick deception, tells you to slide on that glove and dive in. Was it a sin? Depends on your religion. But what I do know is that it's hilarious and ironic how unromantic our first time was together in reflection of our horrible relationship. I lost my virginity in the back of a 92 Taurus. Not exactly a comfy situation. I'm a big guy. <laughs> and in the back seat, I barely fit. I can't count how many times my head hit and my legs quit. It was like an automobile mosh pit. And to tell you the truth, she was pretty thick. I wasn't claustrophobic until that night. I honestly don't even recall climaxing. Lovely feelings lacking, but I do remember almost falling on my ass as I stepped out of the car, struggling to redress myself ankle deep in snow in negative 30 degree temperature. We were in Alaska at the time, and that was ironic too, because when I brought her back to Kansas, it's almost like she bring that chill with her, an ice cold bitch that would put that sweetheart Angela out of her job. Stop talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer used to hit me, and while most of you might look at me shifty when I say that I was repeatedly struck by a five foot tall chick on a daily basis, I don't hit girls, so I just stood there and took it. Low self esteem back then, when we weren't fighting, I continued to make love to her in low lighting until I realized I wasn't making love, I was just making sweat. Meaningless, primal, sweat, ridiculous. I stopped that act immediately. During a fight one night, like Mortal Kombat, she tested my might. <laughs> Morally, I was done arguing orally and physically. She was dead to me, and in what must have been the freshest bit of insanity, I made her pack her shit quick, kept her lips zipped, blocked her fists like the Matrix, and dropped her sorry ass off at the Greyhound bus station. To this day, I don't know where she went after that. I could care less. But if I run across her, I'm gonna say, hey chick, where's my virginity? Give it back, I want it back. Don't make me beg. This list is too long to say, but I guess I can shorten it. <laughs> Fresh ass toys at the bottom of cereal boxes. Give it back. Dope stupid cartoons like Captain Planet. God damn it, I want it back. Chicken little sandwiches from KFC. Don't make me beg. The arcade at Town East, give it back. The role-playing game Cyberpunk, I want it back. Yes. Syphil and Ollie, late night on MTV, don't make me beg. Yes. Christina Aguilera, back when she first came out, give it back. Fireworks that could actually blow your entire arm off, I want it back. <laughs> I swear, on the 4th of July, I was saying. <laughs> Hacking computers before programs did all the work, don't make me beg. Give me back my life, Dad. Remember that new wife 
<laughs> Sorry. Remember that new life you started with your new wife before you were divorced from my mother? Well, you forgot you were ruining another. About the same time you and your mistress were learning horizontal dances, I found out that adultery is not illegal in the state of Kansas. Whoa, back up. Ain't that jacked up? Marriage laws hacked up? I'ma chew that fact up and spit it in the face of the judge that awarded our house to the man who cheated on his wife, my life, and the knife in two backs. What this story lacks is an ending that makes sense. An odd justice dispensed unevenly, basically supporting unsupportive thoughts, evilly transformed into actions against the families it's supposed to protect, bastards. It was your decision, Dad, that made my mom work mad hours to pay off the credit cards you left behind. It was your action that led to nights where my mom nearly drowned in Jack Daniels, locked in her room crying for days. It was your weakness that led me to create this awesome new food item called the bread sandwich. You take a slice of bread, fold it in half, and eat it. You asshole, you prick. Couldn't keep your prick in them pants. A prick from a thorn on my palms. Blood from my fist clenched too tight. Ready to drive a punch into your face. Slightly more powerful than the way you used to drive your van out into the country to bang your mystery chick. I want a life back when there was no debt to pay. No looking for a place to stay. No having to hold my head together like puzzle pieces to make it through the day. A life more happy, a future more bright. Give it back, I want it back, don't make me beg. But wait, I don't have to listen to the radio, right? I can listen to CDs. The radio wants me back, but it can't have my mind and taste, they're free. My virginity, hell, I have better memories. Did Jennifer want me back? Most likely, but my body is free. My father wants to repair the giant mistake, I guarantee it. But my life ain't bad. In fact, it's better without you. That's right. I might wish I could change the past, but I don't need to. The past needs me, and it can kiss my ass. Yeah. <laughs>